In this module, let's go and create this app counter component. So where we want to provide a number, initial value, and provide a couple of buttons to increment as well as decrement the same thing. This way, we understand the concept of data binding. So let's go and have a look at that. Let me close all these files. I'm going to right click, close all. We have a collapse all buttons. That's really neat now. So I have my source code visible properly. I go to my app and then I can look for components, app counter, and there is a TS file. So this is the TS file, which is the backbone of a component. So this is, you can say, engine part of a component. And this is the presentation part of the component, which simply says app works right now. So what I can do is I can declare a variable inside this class, which becomes a member variable of the class. I can mark it as private if I want. Otherwise, it's still fine. For example, I can say count. And because we are using TypeScript, we can define the variable to be of a particular type. I can say number like this. Now, this is really nice because that way compile time will give an error in case if I'm trying to assign something non-numeric value to the count. You can also assign a default value in case if you're assigning a value over here, there is no need to mention that this is a number, but you can always go and say equals to zero as the initial value if you want. Now, the other place to initialize, as you can see that there is a constructor for a particular class. There's also an ng on in it. Now, constructor is typical JavaScript class constructor. So at this point in time, class is being instantiated. It is not at a component. That means Angular is not going to be monitoring this. So if you want Angular to initialize something, not JavaScript, then ng on in it is the function for the job. So that comes because of an implements on in it interface. So the on in it interface make sure that you have this function. For example, if I don't have it, you can see your TypeScript is giving an error saying that app uh, counter component, uh, it says incorrectly implements the interface on in it and you must provide that. So if you see that there is a light bulb here, uh, VS code gives me an option. I can press a command dot or control dot on Windows and that's going to show you implement interface on in it. Of course, I can select this and the code comes over here. Of course, you need to probably pull this down because uh, we want that to be in that place. It says throw new error. We don't want to throw an error. Uh, instead, we can say this dot count equals to zero. Now, very important that you have to say this dot here because if you're coming from other languages like Java, C Sharp, or C++, you can just do this where it looks for a local variable. It is not found, it'll take a member variable. But unlike that, JavaScript and TypeScript say that no, if you specify without the this keyword, it will be looked in for a local variable, which we don't have. And um, uh, it says that we have to mandatorily use the this keyword. Again, you can see that there is a light bulb. I can press control dot and then enter, or I can use a second option here. So be careful when you're selecting the options. Uh, this dot count equals to zero. And now I have a value over here, zero. I can present this in the HTML in whatever the way I want. So let's go to the HTML and probably get it of that. And I'm going to type here H3 and I'll say the count um, currently is, and then I can use a curly bracket and then I can type count like this. This is a interpolation of the value. So basically the whatever the value in your model class is there, that actually will be printed over here. So if I go back to the browser, it says count currently is zero, right? But we would like to provide a couple of buttons uh, so that we can increment or decrement. So to provide the buttons, I'm gonna provide a button BTN, BTN primary, that's the class name that we're gonna use, decrement. And I'm gonna copy paste the same thing and change this to increment, save it buttons do come nicely here, increment and decrement. Uh, whatever I want to provide a functionality. So when I click on this increment, each time I should see this particular value being incremented. So which means we need to trigger a function call from these buttons and the functions must exist over here, right? So what we'll do is we'll provide two functions. I can say here increment and a regular JavaScript function. I can simply say here this dot count plus plus and then of course decrement 
which is supposed to say this dot count minus minus so I'm reducing the value of that now how do I call this right so it's very very simple in angular because now they have provided a, a simple syntax to call that function directly over here what I can do is I can simply say use a round bracket and then use the event that you want to fire and you can see that this uh, you know, VS code is helping me with what are the different options that we have uh, we want to use the click event and the click event I can say decrement and note that VS code helps me by looking at the class and then gives me the function that is available and here I can say once again a click event equals to increment and save this Let's also put everything in a something called container. So Alt Shift F will format your code, save it. And if I go back over to my application on the browser, uh, it should, just, if sometimes it doesn't refresh, just refresh on your own. If I increment this, you see that it's incrementing automatically and decrementing also, right? You can see that when I click on this particular uh, button, the actual function is being invoked. So that's a binding. And what we are binding here is a button to a function and the function changes the value of the model data. And every time the model data changed, this particular value is reflected automatically. And this is called data binding. So we have a method binding and we have a data binding. While this data binding, what you're seeing is a one-way data binding, which means that if I have a text box here and I want the value to be changed when the user changes the value if i want that to affect this particular variable that's supposed to be a two-way binding so right now what we are doing is a one-way binding where from the model data we are updating the view uh, vice versa is not done yet so we're going to see that in future videos anyways however we are doing a, a method binding and a one-way data binding over here so i can increment as well as decrement 